Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is bulb switcher. So let's start. So as you can see that there, there are n bulbs that are initially off. Now you first turn on all the bulbs, then you turn off every second bulb. On a third round, you toggle every third bulb. By toggling it means that turning on if it is off or turning off if it is on. Okay. Now for the ith round, you toggle every ith bulb. For the nth round, you only toggle the last bulb. Pretty much it. Return the number of bulbs that are on after these n rounds. That is the whole problem. Now, don't worry, I will show you what some example to understand it more clearly. Let's say we have n equal to 6. We have 6 bulbs. Let's draw them out. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, we have 6 bulbs and all of them are switched off. So let's denote it by 0. That is, all of them are switched off. So what you can see is that in the second round, we, we toggle every second bulb. In the third round, we toggle every third bulb and so on. So let's take this as a jump factor. So let's say initially we have a jump factor of one. I'll um, explain it more clearly. So don't worry, just stay on the video. Uh, stay focused here. So as you can see that when we have a jump factor of one, what we'll do is that we'll, we will start from jump value that is one and keep jumping by this jump factor. And whatever bulb we land upon, we will just toggle it. Toggle means that if it is off, we will make it on. If it is on, we will make it off. So as you can see, that I will start from the jump factor of 1. That is j equal, like i equal to 1. You can start, say that this is index, uh, like 1 index. So I will start from the very first index. And I will do a jump of 1 and like toggle all these bulbs. So if it is 0, I will make all of them 1. And this is the mark. Like this is the end of first round. Now in the second round, we will start with jump equal to 2. That is, let's say i equal to 2 and do a jump of 2. And toggle all these bulbs that are like uh, preferred in this particular scenario. So I will just switch this. Because it is 1, we will make it 0, make it 0, make it 0. Okay. Then we will start from jump equal to 3. And let's just start from here. This and the last one. So this is one, toggle it, toggle it. So now it is zero, it will become one. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here is that for every, uh, let's say bulb, we'll start from, let's say, whatever the jump is, let's say now we start from four and we will keep toggling all the fourth bulb, then all the fifth bulb, now all the sixth bulb. And because it is last, so I will just toggle the sixth bulb and that's it. Now, whatever is the final state, how many bulbs that are on after doing this for n times, we'll just print out how many on bulbs are there. Okay. So what you can see here is that the constraint is pretty large. That is 10 to the 9. I cannot do this in a very brute force, but I have told you that for every round, take let's say for i equal to 1, the first round, toggle all the like all the bulbs. In the second round, toggle all the sec like all the like all the second bulbs, uh, like every second jump bulbs, third jump bulbs, and so on. So I cannot do this in a very brute force because that will give a TLA for very large inputs. And I cannot like already make an array of 10 to the 9 to just store out all these uh, uh, like all these bulb states. So what I can do? So whenever I see these number of uh, constraints, I have to like decrease my time velocity. So I cannot do this in a very log in because log in means that I have just ignoring or like jumping on certain bulbs. But because I have to find out a state for all the bulbs, I cannot do this in log in. And the more small time velocity is O of one. Can I just do it in O of one or like very small time velocity? Okay. For that, I have to listen to all these rounds should be having some pattern in there because then only I can reduce the answer very fast. If I have to reduce the answer very fast, I have to know some sort of pattern uh, for every round. Okay. For that, it's better that I can just take a pen and paper and try to write it down for all the, all the states one by one for round equal to one, round equal to two, and round equal to three, how many bulbs are on and off for that. But it will become very tedious and it will like, I will just, uh, I have, like I can do some error mistakes as well, but for that, what I what why cannot I just make a small function? So what I've done is that I've written some small function, okay, function. I've commented it out because I will not require this in the very end. In the end, I will just do some uh, logic and some pattern print, like some pattern only, okay. But for initial purpose, like to find out what the pattern is, I can do this okay function, and this okay function will take n, like say for any nth round, like for nth round, let's say I have five bulbs. For, so after five rounds, what will be the number of on bulbs? Or so let's say if I have 100 rounds, what will be the bulbs after 100 rounds? 
So what I'll do is I will make an array of let's say n plus one because I will start from i equal i equal to one index, and then for every round I will like do a jump of i and I will just toggle all these bulb one by one for these i rounds uh, that we are on for uh, that's it. Okay, and this uh, this means that we are doing a zor zor means that we are toggling it from zero to one or one to zero. In the end, we'll just calculate out how many bulbs are one and you just increment the total and just print out a total. So what you can do is that if you just like uh, print out the answer for let's say uh, let's say from for the first 50 states 50 states mean that if i have one bulb if i have two bulbs if i have three bulbs all the way to 50 bulbs that can be easily done okay that can be very easily done and that will be in time so i can just print out what will be the answer for the first 50 uh, uh, n okay for n if we are the first 50 n okay and you can directly see the pattern in that so the pattern i've written down here so the pattern will be that when you just do all of that, you can directly see that three times one. So you can see that the answer will be that I will be seeing one three times. Then I will be seeing, as you can see, uh, five times two. Then I will be seeing seven times three and so on. So this will be the answer. As you can see, like if we just print out, for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, and so on. This will be the answer. Okay. And you can directly just find out the pattern here that for the first three, like the first three positions, I have 1. For the next five positions, I have 2. For the next seven positions, I have 3. So what you can see is that this is some value. And it will be first three times, five times, seven times, and then nine times. So, as you can see, that this is a odd series. Okay. And using this, because it's a series only, you can directly just do a while loop or you can just write on some O of one function as well to just print it out. Okay. And that will become very simple now. That you just have to find out that what is the position my answer lies. So, what you can directly see that if I have to find out the answer for, let's say, n equal to 10. So this is for n equal to 3, the answer will be this. For n equal to 5, so for the next 5 answers, the answer will be 2. But if I just add 3 plus 5, the answer will be 8. So till 8, I know the answer. If I just go down next, then that so I'm I know that the answer will be in this state, and the answer will be 3, and I can just print the answer. I hope I understand what's the overall logic here that we'll be using here only just just using this particular pattern to just find out the particular answer so let's move on to this actual solution what we have done here so for n equal to zero it's very simple you can directly just print out that depending upon the example as well it's just uh, let's say edge case now we'll start from current equal to three like the first print like first occurrence will be three times and the value will be one okay then the total uh total means that i have to see that how many total elements that we have uh, like we have seen because I have to let's say I have told you know, that I have to find out for n equal n and I have to see that I have first seen let's say three times and five times and seven times and so on so I will keep on adding this value in total so let's say I have first seen three times then I have seen let's say uh, five times so which means I've seen eight elements I have seen eight elements so I will keep on adding this so let's say I have to find out for the 11th element so I know that, know that I have done for 11th element if I add the next element that is let's say seven it will become more than so this is let's say uh it will become 15. So i have to find it for 11th element which we, which means that i will be in in this particular range that in this range so i will keep on doing that i will keep on incrementing the total and for every next current i will increment by two because the first value will be five like three then five and seven and so on and the index will be incremented by one because the first answer will be one 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 and two to two and three three and so on I will keep on adding that and in the end whatever index I am on like because I will overshoot that so I will go to the very back index like whatever is the total index the index means that the, what is the total value and this will be total occurrence and we will spend on that so it's very simple you can just understand the logic if you just understand the pattern then you can just write down a small snippet to find out what is the let's say current state for uh, the bulbs okay so very simple so this will be in o of you can say log in a very small time boxity okay it will be o of, o of one only you can say but if I, because the total will be incremented very fast it will be three five seven so it will be incrementing very fast and it will be done in o of 
one only you can say okay but still i've done some while loop so you can take it an o of log n okay this is not o of n this will be o of log n because it will be incremented exponentially okay and that's it that is all the logic and the good part for this particular problem if you still have any doubt you can mention it in the box in the particular video i will see you in the next one keep coding and bye